Welcome to 1870 Off-Road. This is going to be the four-part YouTube series. You don't have to watch all four parts. That's why we have this intro. Covering the ESS system, its failure, its repair, the aux battery delete, the Odyssey battery upgrade, some troubleshooting, and a description and operation of how this stuff works. Let me get out of the way of the Jeep so you can see it. Jeep's front and center, not me. So that's what this is about. Big four-parter here. So again, they're all divided into four parts so that you don't have to watch all four parts of the video. Find the video that helps you watch that one. You'll have this little intro at the beginning of each one. Part one is going to be my call for help. That video is actually already made. I may not have this intro in it because I put that video out three weeks ago. That is when I had the ESS failure and my low voltage warning even after I replaced the battery. I had problems with my Jeep. That's all covered in part one. No solution is just a problem. Part two is the Odyssey battery upgrade. And the relearn process you have to do on newer vehicles when you replace the battery. They have to learn a new system. Part three, this is the big one, is an exhaustive, yeah, an exhaustive aux battery deleting list. I'm going to test four different methods for deleting the aux battery, three of which work, one did not. Uh, you can do any of the three you choose, but I'm doing method four. That's the one I was felt the most safe with. You can watch that video. That'll be part three. And part four is the leftovers. All the little odd things that didn't fit into a video. I'm going to explain the fuse array. I'm actually going to take my fuse array out. I'm going to test it. Mine's good. I didn't have to replace it. So I put the same one back in. But you're going to see how I did that in case you ever break your fuse array. You're going to see me checking battery voltage and mapping a schematic out in my head. Trying to figure out how the system operated. It's my baseline for troubleshooting. Then after all that, you're going to get a description and operation of the smart alternator system, the charging side, and the power side of this, all these components that make this smart alternator system operate correctly. Um, is very complex. This is not like your old school vehicles. And again, a reminder, that's part four. All four of these videos can be watched independently. They're designed so that you can just watch part three, just watch part four, part two, whatever part is works for you. You don't have to watch all four parts to make it make sense. There's a little bit of overlap between all four of the videos. But you can pick out whichever one you want, or you can watch all four, however you choose to do it. All you got to do is get past this little two minute or so intro. Let me check my camera. Two and a half minutes right now is the intro. Maybe three by the time I'm done. So if you've seen one intro, it's going to be the same intro for at least three of the four videos. You can just skip ahead. I always put the chapters in YouTube. So the way it operates right now, you can see the chapters on the bottom of the screen. Who knows five years now how it's going to work. But just skip ahead of the intro. Go straight to the meat of the video if you want to watch a different one. But... All four parts divided up, easy for you. Hope you enjoy. Ox battery delete version one. This version does not work. The Jeep would not start. Now, if you saw the old video about replacing the ox battery, I took the entire liner out. This time, I didn't take it all out. I put it here and I pulled it back out of the way like that. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. That, uh, I don't know which way is easier. <laughs> so, I fault getting this thing here out. Uh, I couldn't see the terminals. I hit an electric. Turn Kyle Larson down over here. Uh, Tal Day is coming on, so I'm trying to hurry up and get this finished. But, anyways, I fault this. There's a 10 millimeter nuts on there. I used my cordless ratchet. So, it's a little opening right there for the shocks, and I just went blind trying to find the spot. So, 36 month free replacement. Um, well, anyways. We'll get to that later. Time being, I'm going to put that battery box back in. It's held in with these three bolts right here that were 10 millimeter. There was two of them in the front side of the box here and one on the back side of the box over here. Uh, I'll make sure I put it where the heat shield is up against that catalytic converter right there. So, I mean, I'm assuming you can see it because my screen went off. So yeah, bolt back in. See the red cable? That's the, that's the uh, subterminal. Black one's in there too. So. We'll stuff them back in that box, put that box back in there. Back together. So, so yeah, we're going to put it back together, then we'll start it before I put everything up top back together. So, as we sit right now, Jeep's completely dead. So this is probably where you got to pull that F42 fuse. So let's go do that now. So just unhooking the battery didn't work. Let's move on to version number two. And just give you a heads up, versions two, three, and four are all successful. So you may do whichever version you choose from here.
All right, this is version two. The aux battery has been disconnected and removed, and I pulled fuse number 42, and this one works. Video, I taped off this while I was changing my oil, and uh, that's taped off. I decided to leave it there. It ain't hurting nothing right there. It's out of the way. So, it'd be fine. Uh, I'm charging the battery still. Uh, when I charged the aux battery over there, it, it came up with a red light indicator for a bad battery, so... I'm going to uh, charge this up all night, get a good trickle charge on it. I ain't got to drive this thing till Tuesday. We have a game Tuesday. We'll let it charge for a couple days and see how it does after that. I've got my jump start on the back just in case something goes wrong. So, so yeah, I'm going to go inside and watch the end of Talladega race. They just had a big crash. It was like Brad got to pushing somebody there. Uh, Version 3. So now I've made this jumper. I'm going to jumper one and two together to run the batteries aren't there anymore and parallel to each other. Let me explain that more in a minute. We're going to see if this works though. I made this jumper using the harness for an old set of fog lights I have, but you can just use a straight wire. I chose this one because it has a fuse in it. And I say run the two batteries in parallel. My battery is removed. I think that's what I'm doing. Everybody else I've seen doing this on YouTube, they left their battery in there. There's two cables going down here to the positive. So one of these cables comes off of here. And it goes over here to this bus bar. I forget which one it goes to. And then from the bus bar, one goes down to the aux battery. And there's actually two batteries, two battery cables, positive, going to the aux battery. So they're anymore. So I'm going to try jumpering in one and two, like you're going to jump start it. And this were to tie the two batteries in parallel. So this will allow this battery to provide 12 volts to both functions, both the main and the aux battery functions. And the Jeep should function even if I put the F42 back in there. The Jeep now should function like it has two batteries, even though it only has one, I think. What are we doing some testing and see? Oh yeah, one last thing. The reason why I'm doing it this way, there's a 15 amp fuse right there, just in case I'm wrong and I blow something up. I don't want to cause an issue. So I put a 15 amp fuse in there. I haven't even bolted it down yet. I just got to uh, throw it on there just to make sure it starts without popping that fuse first. All right, so I just ran the Jeep. It functioned fine. It did not blow the fuse. So now I'm going to take the N1 and N2 terminals off, and I'm going to connect this in there fully. So I'm going to do a test drive, see if this works. If this works, we'll come back and make the proper video explaining what in the world I just did. All right, we just came back from a test drive. Everything went good. So here's what we did. We got to wrap up here. We disconnected this negative terminal to the aux battery, which was right here on a 2018 with a 3.6. Could be different on yours. I know on some newer ones they swap these two cables. Other stuff could be different too. So you got to figure that out on your own. I did it with a multimeter. I uh, left the positive terminal connected. I know you tried this several different ways. Ended up leaving the positive terminal connected because I figured out how it was wired. So we disconnected the negative. I jumpered in one and in two. Right here, it is in one and in two, isn't it? Yeah, I jumpered in one and in two together. Come down here with me for a second. Made this jumper here. We were jumpered there to there. It is fused. That way it don't blow, uh, just don't blow something up. It's only a 15 amp fuse, it don't take much. I have a spare set of fuses in the Jeep, in case I break that somewhere out on the trail. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, I put these uh, nuts on these terminals. So what I did, these are M6 by one nuts so they're m6 with a 1.0 thread count so they're going to go on there i'm going to take the ones on there back off because they're not lock nuts these are lock nuts with an insert that way they won't back off i'll save them i'll put these back in my hardware kit which is right over there by the ipad and while we're at it we're at the charlotte roval and when i get this done i'm going aside i'm editing softball video and then i can get to we're off this week so, I'm supposed to have fall break and doing fun stuff with my kids, and I'm spending all the time working on my Jeep. So, one thing I don't believe I mentioned in the video, so I'm mentioning it here. While I was messing with this bus system over here, I had the negative terminal disconnected with a rag underneath it. I did it, I just don't remember if I said I did it. This is all hot. What we have done here in theory is, assuming we still have two batteries, by tying these two buses together, I've connected the batteries in parallel to each other. So because I have the other battery removed, what this jumper is doing is it is tying this battery into both buses. You have, this right here is a bus bar like you have an electrical panel on your house. Solar. So doing this here, I tied the aux battery and main battery together. 
and they're essentially in parallel working together since I have the aux battery removed that means this battery is powering both the main and the aux battery bar that's what we got we are fixed we are ready to go Jeep's running I did not end up pulling the fuse I put the fuse back in so the fuse is not pulled so the Jeep is essentially functioning it thinks it's running two batteries the computer down here that's trying to charge the batteries thinks it's charging both and it thinks it has the exact same charge on both batteries because it only sees this one because this one battery is jumping together to both ba both bars so because of that it thinks both batteries are this battery i believe at this point we're good to go uh this is not the way i've seen anybody else do it no i have 3.6 i've already seen if you have a diesel the aux battery is way easier to change if you have the diesel than if you have the gas engine you know the two liter may be something different you got the newer 3.6s where the engine stops at a certain point and then it restarts at a certain point it, it's just different so that being said this is uh this is how it worked on mine this may not work on yours that's for sure you have been watching 1870 off-road with wicked jeeps nah we ain't finished yet i don't know what was up with that that's a mistake in editing there i'm leaving it in though it's cool uh, this is version number four. This is how my Jeep is currently set up, and it works. All right, this is Ox Battery Delete version 4.0, what we're calling it. I don't know if 4 is correct. We're on several different versions now. What we are doing, right now we're still jumpered over here. I'm about to unhook that jumper. This is a brand new battery cable. I'm connecting this positive cable to the positive terminal here. I'm going to run it down and connect it to the positive terminal off of the Ox battery, which has been deleted. And that should allow that one battery to power both terminals on the same side. That's wrong. Let me see another way to say that. That allow me to power both buses from the same battery. So I'm powering the aux bus and the main bus off of that one battery. That's what we're doing. As you can see here, these wires have been previously taped up. We're going to connect this one to the power cable for the aux battery. Run it up to where the aux battery connected in and we're going to connect it up here. So this battery powers both systems. So I just bought me a battery cable. Uh, this was a four gauge cable, 40 inches long. You did not need 40 inches. I don't know how much leftover I'm gonna have, but I'm gonna have at least eight to 12 inches left over. I'll just fold it up in here and I'll put it in the tray. It'll be fine in the tray. So what I did is I fished it through the, alongside the positive cable and it comes out right down inside of here. There's like a little heat shielded guard that protects it from the heat of the engine. So I pulled the cable up through here and I'm going to run it over and connect it up here to the positive terminal for this. Okay. We'll connect these two together down here. I'll connect that cable to that cable. And then everything will be powered up that way. But what I did to identify this as a positive cable because it's black. It's I put a red electrical tape on it. So I remember that's a positive wire. Something I was actually going to use one of these over here I have for a golf cart. This came off my golf cart when I changed the batteries in it or replaced Anyways, that's what we're doing, version 4.0. When I get it all hooked up, we'll see how it works. So, version 4 is going back together now. I have the cables right here taped up. This mess right here is the positive terminal. I've already stuffed the negative up in there. The battery box will go back over all that here in a second. I've already put the battery back together up here. I had it disconnected. I pulled the fuse out of my jumper. I'm putting the fuse in the Jeep just as a bypass in case something ever goes wrong and it's a fail safe. I'll just keep the fuse in there. I'm, I'm going to leave the jumper hooked up though. I'm still, I, I would recommend anybody do this now that I think about it. This right here, you can jump or the two together and jump start your Jeep if it ever dies in the event you have an ESS failure. So I'm keeping that no matter what. That's staying. But I've ran my power terminal here. It come out through here. I'm about to put the box back in. I just started the Jeep and verified it started. I'm going to put this tray back in. Which it goes, I say it'll go like that. And all that stuff will be inside the tray. That's where we're at. So anyways. Alright, let's put this thing back together. We're going to put this fender liner back in. Uh, by the way, one downside to having rock lights. I can't take my fender liner off the Jeep because I'm the cable's holding it. I didn't think about that when I did the rock lights. Alright, so get this fender liner off in the front, two eight millimeters here. 
uh, right here where your fingers go, there's little push tabs that are plastic here and here. That's where you are. And then there's another one that goes over here somewhere. There it is, right there. And there's a fourth one. I forgot where it goes. One, no, one, two, three, four. Now, I had some down here, but I broke both of those if I take this thing off so many times. And these little push pins here, they don't do anything anymore because I've worn them out. Version 4 is my favorite, but you can choose however you wish to do yours.